Hello you guys, welcome back to my bathroom. I hope it's not too echoey. I have to get ready and I really wanted to film a very quick video about my foundation and show you the application of it on my bare skin. So, what I currently use is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I also often mix it with the Bobbi Brown foundation stick or sometimes I just use the foundation stick um, but today's video is gonna be about the luminous silk foundation so let's get started thought that I had a hair tie over here but apparently I don't let's use the lip liner <laughs> to hold my hair so I want to come close and show you my skin right now. Usually I suffer from perioral dermatitis which shows over here mostly like with redness and I also have like little pimple over here, rest, pigmentation over there and little bits and bobs. All in all it's much better than it was last year. I was worried that I would be left with the uh, pigmentations for the years to come because it was so bad uh, luckily it got away not fully but nothing that I can complain about so now about the foundation itself as you can see I have been using this quite a bit now it's almost in the middle and 30 milliliters in the size in case you wonder it has very beautiful packaging this top lid here is shiny and has the little logo and the rest of it is matte um, you have the pump which I love very much there are a few other foundations that I've had did not have pump but just had normal opening which was quite a hassle to regulate the amount that you want to use it says perfect glow flawless foundation on top of it which I can only approve when you apply this one it doesn't um, give you like a matte finish on the face but you have a little bit of radiance at least that's my preference when applying for the foundation and if I want certain areas to be like matte I apply then the powder on top of those areas for example under eye in the middle of my forehead uh, but the rest of the face I want to look glowy and juicy and dewy this is liquid foundation as well it is not, it doesn't have thick consistency like my double wear double wear light that's what I had I loved that one especially when I had more acne it gave like really full coverage and stayed intact on the place I love to give color and add the products on top of the foundation so for me it's really essential that the base is not like cakey and to be as natural and neutral is possible but at the same time obviously to cover my redness and little spots so just to show you the consistency here i scooped a little one and i try to blend it out on the corner on the hand to show you how it blurs out it is very good match for my skin and I use number two because the number one I thought that it was too white and was making me look like sick. So I use this buffer brush by Zoeva. So I just dab in there and start buffing on my face. I'm doing this with only with the camera, which I don't know if it's a good thing to do because one thing if you know me is that I am blind no disrespect to the people who really don't see anything I'm like half blind so I really need to have magnifying glass to see <laughs> what I'm doing uh, can you tell the difference it is instant right but you can see the glowiness on my cheeks it still feels like um, you drank a lot of liquids your skin is plump and young that's the feeling that I'm going for and that's what I especially love about this foundation so I directly scooped two times like two little scoops on the brush once again and I go in 
on the other side following here on the jawline and as you can see I don't swipe it I just buff I don't add extra product for the nose area or her upper lip I just try to use this two little scoop as much as possible and to just spread it all over the face exactly for the natural feel and the look that I was talking about so just a little bit more for the forehead just to have the even color when it comes to the forehead I love it to uh, be almost without foundation but I'm always scared that at the end the difference uh, in the color will show especially that when you go out and start walking it's sunny or you sweat um, it might really look different from the rest of the face by the way before I got this brush I was using the um, sponge which I was like obviously dabbing in the water so that the product doesn't get absorbed in it and then doing the same motion somehow I prefer to use brush nowadays especially with this foundation that might change with something else but yeah there is no right or wrong when it comes to that so that's the airbrushed finished that you get uh, when you apply this foundation, I feel like that it has hidden all the spots that I had over here and the pigmentation here and all the red spots that I had here. Maybe a little bit is still visible, but um, as told, you can either build up on this or just leave it the way it is, which shows a little bit imperfections of your skin, which is natural as well. But looking in the mirror right now, this is not something that I would feel that would make me feel not comfortable with myself. Um, obviously, it's too plus, like I look just having one color, a little bit sick. Um, but that's the goal of foundations, right? To make everything even, um, to take off the imperfections and impurities. And now you have the fresh canvas on which you can build up with the rest of the products, which I'm going to do right now. Obviously, my eye bags are still dark and I'm going to blush myself up and warm myself up with, with a little bit of bronze. I'm going to do all of that right now off the camera because today's video is about this one. Please let me know if you ever tried this one, if it has worked for you um, and what are your favorite foundations currently. I always love to try new products, even if I love something, I tend to uh, gravitate buying something new. So I'd be glad to hear what are the foundations that you're using and what is the reason why you love them. So that is the full makeup on my face, you guys. I did the face makeup fully with this Glowgasm palette. I did separate video with regards to this palette, first application and impressions, which I'm gonna link over here, as well as at the end of the video. Um, so check it out if you're interested, a very cool palette. And I also have um, the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick on my lips, which is in Pillow Talk color. And this one is like the gloss formula. Um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. It means quite a lot for me. Uh, and I'm gonna see you on my next one.